Yo, 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 Team Villar George here, and... I hear you got a problem. With Cosmos, yep. Episode 2 of my tech series, we're doing Cosmos. with a prevalent meta deck out right now. The thing about Cosmos is, I personally play the deck, so trust me when I tell you I know it fucks it up. I have a couple of tech cards here for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. So first up, we have Banishing. Macrocosmos and or Fisher. Any card sent to the grave is banished instead. Stops the floating effect of the ships, however, pilots can still pay cost and get banished to summon ships from the hand. It stops half the deck, and only some decks can run it, but it's alright. Next up, we have Necro Valley. Um, in the same vein, uh, cards in the graveyard cannot be banished, so it stops ships again. However, other cards should not move cards outside of the graveyard, so call the haunted it stopped. Another important card in the Cosmo deck. Um, so it's a little better than the last two, however, again, only some decks can run it. So it's decent if you can. Now we have Imperial Iron Wall, in my opinion, the best tech card against Cosmos if you can use it. So it's a continuous trap, and uh, no monsters can be banished, stops the entire Cosmo deck. Uh, and it stops Cosmojo as well, another problem card in the deck. However, only some decks can use it. Uh, if you can though, best card, very cheap right now, get it, run it at 3 in your side deck if you can. Next is Magic Defector. Um, it's good against Cosmos specifically because a lot of the power plays start off with their e tellies or Cosmo Towns, which are both field and quick play spells, and it stops it for a turn. So, yep, halt your opponent's plays, and then punish them the next turn. Now for some trap hate. Recently, with the new builds of Cosmos and even the old control builds with Cosmojo and Call of the Haunted, a lot of traps are being run, and these can stop that. If your deck doesn't use traps specifically, use Royal Decree, stays on the field longer. All traps are negated, so you don't have to worry about anything except for spell back row hatred. Trapstone is if you do use traps. However, the thing with Trapstone is it could be chained to, so make sure you chain it to one of their cards first so you can negate that if it's a trap. Uh, decent card if you can use it. And then if you can't use it, Trapstone. Next up is Tice Specificity. We got Light and Shadow and Prison and Mirror here. Um, Cosmo monsters are either dark or light, so this works well and negates dark and light monsters on the field and in the graveyard. However, pilots, again, are unaffected by this, unsurprisingly. Uh, they banish for cost and they're not even on the field and in the graveyard and in the banish zone now. Um, it does stop a lot of their plays, however, in the grave for the ships and also summon effects. So it's not bad. Again, continuing with types and attributes now. Rivalry and goals and match. Um, no two attributes and or types can stay on the field if you have both of these on. The thing about Cosmos is they're either dark or light, and they're either machine or uh, psychic, so it stops a lot of the deck's plays if they can't play around it. Uh, however, they do have Cosmo Town, so they can shuffle their deck if they've drawn bad accordingly, so it's okay. Uh, I would run it in the side deck, however, because it's good against a lot of meta decks right now, so yeah. Next is a quick play hand trap, uh, Artifact Lancio. Essentially for the turn, uh, cards can't be banished. The thing about Lancia is it can be played around, you can just save the ship in your hand until the next turn and then when the effect is worn off, especially summon the ship. But if your opponent's committed to a play, you can chain this late into the play and then it stops their entire turn. So it's not bad if you know when to use it. However, there's better cards. Uh, Chaos Hunter, more of a niche card. Uh, essentially when your opponent special summons a monster, discard a card and special summon this 2500 body. Then your opponent specifically can't vanish. You can, but they can't. So it stops Cosmo and essentially the rest of their deck. However, they can get over it with Call the Haunted and Oasis if they've drawn correctly. Uh, next is Kaijus. I know I have Gamsil here. However, depending on your deck, you can use a lot of the other ones. Um, I use Gamsil again because I play Cosmo, so I'm trying to get over it with Slip Rider. However, you can use a Spider because it's 2400 attack if your deck can go it over easily. It's a lot cheaper than Gamsil. Uh, essentially gets over their boss monsters without activating floating effects because it tributes them. Really good against causes and or boss decks. Next is Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Um, it's a contact fusion card. You have to have Cyber Dragon on the field and other machines, essentially tributing your uh, opponent's Cosmo machines. The thing with this is you have to have another slot being used up for Cyber Dragon, otherwise it's not going to work. Unless you're actually playing Cyber Dragons, in which case then uh, good for you. You probably should be running this anyways. So yeah, the thing about this is though, I think there's another card that does its job a lot better, which is my personal favorite general Cosmo tech. It's going to be System Down. Pay 1k, banish your opponent's machines on the field and in the graveyard. Um, 
takes care of the boss monsters without activating floating effects and maybe some call the haunted plays that they're trying to use the graveyard as well with uh, tin can um the thing about system down is uh it's not as good as it used to be because the release of dark lady because say you take care of all their machines chances are if they're playing the deck correctly they're gonna have the dark lady on the field still to annoy you and negate your monster effects because again dark lady is psychic it's not machine half the deck is psychic don't forget that and a lot of people are playing around this now just leaving pilots on the field not even caring uh, so it's still good, and in my opinion the best, however it has lessened over time. So yeah, those were my Cosmo Tech cards, I uh, thought of this thoroughly, and I know from personal experience a lot of these work. Again, if I missed any cards, comment them down below, and if you want to see another deck in this series, comment down below again. And yeah, Team Village George is out.